They'll never take that sauce from me! like a platypus. We just don't know what it is. Science is about understanding, but you can never know all of science. It's an adventure. There's too much science to know. Science is like, uh, well, gee, science is like math. You know science is like macaroni and cheese. Oh, I! You add two to two, and You'll find that you get four. If you tried to explain science to a group of third graders, you'd end up explaining for well over three hours. When you add science to anything, you get knowledge. But today, we'll let you learn a little science. We'll show you some science. We'll show you some knowledge. And maybe you'll walk away with a little more. The best things in science are the things you can't see. Now for this experiment, we will need a microscope. I've got a sample here of just regular elephant skin. So let me... Now that's a microscope. I can't see the science. I think you need this. Let's take a look. Take a look, my young assistant. Experience the science. This is awesome! Science isn't only indoors. Let's take science to the field. Right now, we will be explaining the relevance between nature and science. <laughs> think about the Earth. It's pretty big. Now think about a pine cone. Review what we learned. The Earth, it's pretty big. Pine cone, not as big. Now consider eggs. If you had one egg for every person on the Earth, you'd have enough eggs to feed half the people two eggs. I'll leave you with that knowledge. Oh, hi. You just caught me extracting juice from this rock. It's both nutritious and tasty. It's just my favorite. Now, let's go into the wildlife with safari expert Wayne Jones. Here we have a herd of zebra. Notice that terrifying stature. Ruthless creatures, they travel in packs of six. If they weren't behind this tree, they'd eat me. <laughs> Now, let's go to the lab. Oh, sorry, I was building my rocket. Now, a rocket is very careful. This is the marsh lover. They, they appear all over. They're much, they're like locusts. They, they eat everything. Watch out! Let's go to the lab. I don't keep all the science to myself. In my spare time, I do teach science to others. We have two minutes to create a perfect model of our solar system. 
to show me you learned something in the last two hours about our solar system? Show me you learned. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Saturn? Saturn? You know Saturn. What's, what's Saturn, Moon? You know Saturn! AOC, this was supposed to be four inches. Pluto, you're supposed to throw this away. The sun is the center. You know this. What's with the sun? This is not the sun. This is the sun. This is the sun. This is not the sun. This is not the sun. This is the sun. Earth. Mars. V Mercury. Did you do this? There's not a half planet. I was thinking I was going to pick it up. Figure it out! But there's science in them fields. There's a naked man behind me. Science is never a failure. Win or lose, you learn something along the way. And that's what we know of science. We are scientists. This is our spectrophotoprenometer. My assistant and I are about to receive results from a long-running experiment we concluded last week. It failed. We have to do it again. Failure.